Hello there, Ms. Shibley here with Lesson 21 of our Skills Unit. We are learning about verb tense and root words. Our I can or what I will learn for today are, I can state whether an action took place in the past, present, or future based on the verb tense in an oral sentence, so in a spoken sentence. I can write the inflectional endings ed and ing at the end of the root word, doubling the final consonant where necessary. So that means that you would have to add an n or a b or whatever that final consonant is, it might need to add another one to it. And I can read the spinning wheel with purpose and understanding, and I can answer written short answer questions about key details in the text. So let's begin with our past, present, and future tense. So remember, we've been learning about sentences that occur in the past, present, and future. I'm going to read sentences aloud to you, and you should listen carefully to tell whether the action occurred in the past, the present, or the future. So, Jill will go to the concert tomorrow. Is that one in the past, the present, or the future? I pause for a second. If I say I walked, that means that it was in the past. If, it's, if it says that I am walking, it is in the present. And if I said I am, or I will walk, then that would be in the future. So when we add the word will to a sentence, that means that it is in future tense. You are going to do it in the future. So let's start over. Number one, Jill will go to the concert tomorrow. Okay, and because it says will go, that means that it is in the future tense. Number two, Lee cheered for his pal at the race. Is this sentence in the past tense, the future tense, or the present tense? Okay, let's see. Lee cheered for his pal at the race. Well, it has ed at the end of the verb. So cheered, it is in the past tense. Number three, Beth will play games with her friends. This sentence in the future tense because it has the word will, will play games. So she will do it in the future. Okay, number four, Juanita walked to the store. That ED at the end of walked makes it past tense. Number five, the dog barked at the neighbors. Is that past tense, future tense, or present tense? It is past tense, barked. It has ed at the end of bark, so barked. Okay, she scratched her back. Past tense, future tense, or present tense? It is past tense because ED at the end of scratch. So scratched. She did it in the past. Number seven, I will dive to the airport. Will makes this sentence in future tense. Sorry, future tense. Number eight, yesterday I started a good book. So it's also past tense because it has started, but it also has the word yesterday. And we know yesterday is also in the past. Okay, now it's time for you to practice working with root words and their endings. So you're going to turn to page 21.1 in your skills book and page 89. 
you are going to fill in the words like they did here. They have our root word stop. Then they have the ending ed. And because this one ends with a p, they had to double the p. So stopped. And they had to double the p for stop ing too. So you're going to go ahead, pause your video here, and then you're going to fill in your sentences. So make sure you pause. All done? Glad you're back. Okay, my name's at the top. Today's day is May 28th. And let's go over our words. Munch turns to munched and munching. We do not have to add any extra letters. We don't have to double our consonant. Then we have sip, sipped. We added another P, E-D. Sipping, same thing. We added another P, and then I-N-G. Our root word is kick, and we have kicked and we just added ed to the ending of kick and kicking we just added ing okay fishing or fish sorry we have fished we add ed then fishing we have ing slip turns into slipped we have s l i P P E D, so it we added P E D. Then slipping is same thing. We added P I N G. Dash, we have dashed. We added E D. Dashing, we added I N G. Wrap turns to wrapped. And we have P E D that we added. And then wrapping is P I N G. We added. Okay, double check your paper and make sure you are correct. Okay, do you do the back side? If not, pause the video and go ahead. You can do it now. Okay, ready? Let's work with some more of our root words. This time, it has the example of beg begged bagging and they added another g for both the ed ending and the ing ending tug goes to tugged with another g e d added then tugging has g i n g added flash goes to flashed they had ed, flashing, ing, then park, they added ed, parking, they added ing, pat, oh, because this is a short vowel right here and there's no magic e here, we have to add another t so patted we need t e d and patting we need t i n g we have pin and that's a short vowel again so we need to double our consonant so p i n n e d and then p i n n i n g pinning Come Hey, that brings us to our story for today. You can stand up, you can stretch, take a little break. Ah, oh, yes, let's stretch. Ready? Our story for today is called The Spinning Wheel. And today's story talks about all of the fun Grace and Jill have at an amusement park. So we're going to preview our spellings before. So these are the words that we're going to encounter for new sounds. So they're the w made with w-h, like wheel, 
whizzing, whooshing, while, when. We have the ng sound made by n, so think and pink. With the s sound made by c, so excitement. And then we have u made with oo, so we have shoots, hoops, and food. Our vocabulary phrases and sayings for today are we have arms, which are narrow parts of a machine that are connected to the main part. An example of that is the arms of the machine spun around in a circle. Tosses, which throws with a quick, light motion. An example of that is Cadence tosses her empty cup into the trash. Okay, and our saying or phrase for today is shoots hoops which means to throw a basketball at the basket to try to make it go in the net. An example of that is Ricardo shoots hoops in the gym with her friend after, sh after school. Ready for our story? The Spinning Wheel. There are lots of fun rides and games at the park this week. Grace and Jill like to ride the Spinning Wheel. The Spinning Wheel is a ride with six arms. The arms spin round and round and lift up. It is fun to ride. Jill, Grace yells as the wheel starts to spin. I dare you to keep your hands up while you ride like this. Soon they are whizzing and whooshing and shouting and yelling. Grace keeps her hands up till the ride ends. Jill keeps her hands up for a while, but not all the time. Woohoo, shouts Grace. Look at me, shouts Jill. Her cheeks are pink with excitement. Let's turn the page. When they get off the spinning wheel, they run and check out the games. Grace shoots hoops while Jill tosses darts at a target. Jill wins a prize. Let's have a snack, says Grace. The sisters get a big tub of buttered popcorn. They share a corn dog and a drink, too. The food is good. When they are finished, Jill asks, should we ride the spinning wheel one last time? No, Gray says, after all that food, it would not be safe. I think I would get sick. Okay, and that brings us to our activity page for today. No discussion questions. You're going to page 21.2 in your workbook. At the bottom, it says 91. I'm going to write your name at the top and the date, and the date is May 28th, 2020. Ready? Number one it says, describe the spinning wheel. So let's see. The spinning wheel has blank arms, spins around, and lifts blank. So you're going to copy all of this down, and you're going to fill in the blank. So the spinning wheel has six arms, spins around, and lifts up. And our answer to that is on page 64. Number two. What did Grace dare Jill to do while they rode the spinning wheel? Grace dared Jill to keep... What... What does she want her to do? You're right. Grace dared Jill to keep her hands up while she rides. Make sure you end it with a period. And that answer is also on page 64. So one more time. Grace dares Jill to keep her hands up while she rides. Okay, don't forget you could pause the video. Number three, what else do Grace and Jill do at the park? Grace and Jill play games and blank at the, at the park. And the answer to that is on page C6. So Grace and Jill play games and have a snack 
at the park. Number four, I'm not going to have you copy this one down because I wrote the whole answer for you. Okay, and there's a lot to copy. But it says, why do Grace and Jill not ride the spinning wheel two times? Grace and Jill do not ride spinning wheel two times because they might get sick from eating too much. And the answer to that is also on page 66. Hey, don't forget to send your teacher a picture. Great job.